This is what it's all about. Giving your all and coming out on top at the tournament that matters the most. That's one thing that will never change in the competition that stretches back to 1877. This year's hopefuls are well aware of that. And for them, staying focused and honing that edge both mentally and physically is all a part of the fine-tuning process. From the days of the great Fred Perry, the last British men's champ in 1936. Through the 1950s when Althea Gibson, the first African-American player, graced center court and won. To the present day. The Wimbledon tournament has always been special. And much of that has to do with the tradition surrounding the historic place. At the Wimbledon Lawn Tennis Museum, the past is preserved. Curator Honor Godfrey is in charge of chronicling the game's evolution through the years. Well, I think there are lots of reasons which contribute to the, the name Wimbledon and probably one of the most significant is the fact that we play on grass and so many of the players say how wonderful it is to come here, how green it is, how wonderful the grass looks and obviously um, other traditions spring from that as well, like playing almost entirely in white. Um, that's another of the great Wimbledon traditions. Professional tennis players, even in the late 19th century, were wearing white, white clothes. And it's gone on from, from that stage, and we obviously have that ruling today still. And of course, the mere mention of the word Wimbledon conjures up images of dark, rain-bearing clouds. Wimbledon weather is uh, traditionally very fickle, so it could be sunny in the morning and then there can be a couple of squally showers, enough to interrupt play. But this again is something which uh, spectators and visitors, they've come to enjoy that. It's all part of, part of being here. But embedded in the long train of traditions at Wimbledon is the ability to change and adapt to the times. And a big change this year is a retractable roof on center court. Ian Ritchie, who is the chief executive of the All England Lawn Tennis Club, says the roof will be a big plus for the championships once those inevitable raindrops start to appear. There's been a lot of planning and a lot of great experts involved, so I think it's one of those things that is only an addition, and, and it helps the people who get a ticket, a lifetime ambition to come to the centre court, and they now know they get guaranteed play. Uh, we're on television in 185 countries around the world, and much so everybody's loved the Borg McEnroe tiebreak rerun. I think the tape's worn a bit thin, and, and what they want to see is live tennis. So, so to me, it's a plus point all round. The roof is just the latest example of adapting to a changing tennis world while preserving the traditional foundations upon which the tournament is based. I think you've always got to be very careful about those traditional elements which in fact have made the tournament famous over the years, which I can easily, I think, outline, you know, playing on grass, white clothing, no advertising around the grounds. Those are sort of basics and fundamentals which I don't think we would change. But in the same way, if you want to be, which I think we are, a global iconic sporting event, you have to move with the time. One thing that will never change is that incredible feeling of winning at Wimbledon. From 1877 to 2009, some things will forever remain the same. Tom Rivers for VOA News, Wimbledon.